Hello friends, Kishan is here again and uh, in past three video tutorials we have seen how to uh, how to create a resource on the RESTful web service and uh, how to read a resource from the web service and finally we have seen how to delete a resource from the web service right so these are the four RESTful API or RESTful methods we have implemented so first method basically creates and is a resource on the server basically we are just creating a resource on the server by calling the web service method second is basically responsible to fetch the ticket information from the uh, server so that's the basically read operation and third we want to fetch all booked uh, tickets from the server so this is also basically a read operation and finally we have seen how to delete a resource on the server by based on the ticket id now one thing is pending when we talk about the restful crud operation then uh, update operation is still pending so i'm going to basically let's take a huge case uh, suppose uh, i mean tickets uh, i mean tickets uh, contains a lot of information one of the information let's say uh, is my business requirement is that i mean passenger can update his or her email address uh, so in that case you required a new email address as well as ticket id to update a resource on the server so let's design that method so basically i'm going to create a public and return type i would keep the same as uh, just i'll return the updated tickets so return type would be ticket itself i would say update ticket and here I require two inputs so here uh, if you look into the uh, spring latest version then spring has introduced a new again again a new uh, annotation is called put mapping so and before uh, prior spring version we had a put method so uh, you might use at the request mapping and here you can specify the put method but in latest spring we have in we have annotation is called at the rate put mapping so this is basically introduced for uh, for the put operation or update or resource on the server so here i'm going to specify a url as slash uh, i would say ticket and here we'll have to pass two path parameter like uh, ticket id and second path parameter we are going to take email address so new email address so no new email but uh, when you send an email uh, and you when you make the part of the url or path variable then you need to pass this email basically email is having the format like dot uh, com right so basically uh, here you will have to uh, basically use uh, regular expressions to collect email address else if you pass email address like kk.cs at the rate yahoo.com then dot com part will be truncated so basically uh, uh, restful web services uh, i mean that guesses so after dot uh, that is nothing but the file name would be there so that truncates the part so this kind of problem you can resolve by specifying the some kind of regular expression so you will have to specify uh, colon dot and plus sign and these things already i have been talked into while uh, while showing you how to make use of the aggregate path variable in spring mbc so if you are if you are not aware about this problem then please watch my spring mbc so this way we will be able to collect the email address which is coming from the client as a path variable now here uh, i can copy from here so we have a this address uh, ticket id now again we will make use of the path variable and second path variable we have a email address right so here i can say new email and this type of a string itself it's a new email right and uh, let's write a return keyword and we'll make call to the service layer right 
so service layer i will say update ticket so after updating updated ticket information will be returned and we are passing uh, ticket id as well as new email address as an argument to the service layer and service layer will responsibility of service layer is to call the doll layer and update the ticket information right so here doll so first of all what we'll try to find will fetch the information about this ticket from the database right so i would say ticket from db so this is the ticket information you fetch from the db and after that you will have to update it so let's say new mls will have to address so new email email we are addressing after uh, updating the new email address will have to save into the database so here uh, we have a same method for update as well nothing like we don't have a separate method for updation so this i mean ticket information which we have fetched from the database and we have set a new ml address and finally we are saving into the database and this will return you the updated ticket i would say updated uh, ticket and this updated ticket will return to the client pretty straightforward right now let's test it out through uh, bra uh, you can test uh, this method using uh, postman so uh, let's test this right so what i'll do i'll run this application from main method and as we have discussed earlier main method is going to create a ticket into the in memory database right now we are using derby database if you look into the pom.xml then this is uh, showing derby database derby is the one of the in memory database right so now let's come over here and first of all let's face the booked ticket so get method i'm calling and we are getting the one of the ticket has been booked and that uh, passenger name is kk and whose email address is kk at the rate yahoo.com let's update his email address so here basically we want to make call to this update method right so what is the uri so first of all you need to select the put method for updation and uri slash, slash api slash tickets slash ticket then ticket id and slash you will have to pass new email address so suppose his old address is kk at the rate yahoo.com i want to update it kkcs2008 at the rate yahoo.com just i want to update his email address let's click on the send and saying that uh, updated this is updated saying that uh, now email is showing kk.cs2008 at the rate yahoo dot com now let's retrieve this ticket so to retrieve this ticket we are making call to this, this get method so make sure that this ticket uh, uh, ticket uh, information is updated so let's select this get method and if you select then you can see now email address is getting updated so this is working perfectly fine now we have a complete CRUD operation example and this, these things we have completed in almost four videos for consecutive videos and let me explain each and everything so here this is a our a bootstrapping class the spring bootstrapping class and here uh, up here application dot run we are pass, passing this class and this is the uh, command line argument and basically return type of this run method if you look then return type of this run method is the uh, configurable application context this is basically application context and uh, as we know that application context is a container right and container is basically responsible to uh, manage life cycle of all, all your spring beans right and that basically takes care about everything in a spring so using this application context basically we call the get bin method and we are just uh, we are telling to spring give me the instance of this guy so here this class we have annotated at, at the rate service so basically this class uh, serves as a purpose of service class so this class will be instantiated by the container and what will be the object name ticket booking service and 
with first letter as a small right if you want to specify if you want container to create uh, an object of this class with some specific name then here in bracket you can specify the name if you do not specify then object name uh, or object id i mean bean id would be the ticking ticket uh, class name itself with first letter a small so in main class just we are passing the id and we are passing the class so uh, basically this will return the uh, ticket booking service and here we have created the ticket and we are calling the service method right and just we are creating a ticket into the database so we are skipping the controller and just calling the service and creating the uh, ticket in the database directly so just for testing purpose right and uh, after that what we wanted we just we are calling the get method and when you click on the send then we get the, this ticket information because while application startup one ticket has been created and this i have done for the testing purpose now if you want to test this api then you will have to fire this api this this uh, uri right so uri is still up to here your url will be fixed http colon slash slash localhost colon 8080 and here api slash ticket this is the uri of class level and to reach this api you will have to append ticket and after that you will have to pass the ticket id at path parameter that we are passing and once you hit then you will get the ticket information that's that's the way we can test this uh, 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 get ticket by id and get ticket by ID, this we are getting as a path parameter and we are calling to the service method and service method we are basically we are using reference of daw and daw has a method is called find one and find one method is available in the available in the crud repository and this is this method is already available uh, for you so you don't need to write any crud level low level programming that is already taken care by the uh, spring data jpa that method is already available uh, in future video session i'll tell tell i'll show you if you want to write some more method if you want to add some your own method in this interface that we can do uh, as well in the spring jpa right so similarly you will have to we have tested uh, rest of the method right so, so if you want to create some resources in the server then you will have to call this api slash api slash ticket slash create and you will have to pass a json object so this annotation basically takes care about the converting json object into the java object 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 and just we are making call to the service layer and service layer makes call to the doll layer and same method is already available on the current repository again so this method you don't need to really write similarly next controller method uh, we have a uh, something is called uh, get all tickets so we want to retry all book ticket delayed so from so you will have a api like slash api slash tickets slash ticket slash all tickets if you hit this url from even from the browser then you'll get all book ticket on the browser and this makes this basically makes call to the uh, service layer and service layer makes call to the doll layer and doll layer we have already method is called find all so this returns basically iteration of all, all ticket so and that will display on the uh, oh, uh, that will return to the client caller right similarly we have a delete resources on the URI and delete method you are passing uh, ticket ig as a path parameter and basically this makes call to the service layer service layer basically calls to the doll layer to delete the resource pretty straightforward now this I mean if you want to update some resources on the server then this is already we have seen in this example so that's all I have in this video tutorial guys so thanks for watching this video and this code I am going to put on the github and github location uh, I will uh, specify in the video description itself. So uh, till that thanks for watching and uh, see you next video tutorial.